Hello, I'm Debbie Chazen and I'm here with the lovely Ruth Wheeler who's written the book All Aliens Like Burgers which uh, I've been recording over the last couple of weeks. Hello Ruth, how are you? Hi, good thanks, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. We've been having a nice morning. Yeah, very listening good. Listening to very nice. <laughs> dribble on with various voices and getting my Birmingham accent completely wrong. Very good, yeah. <laughs> thank you. So what gave the idea for this book? Uh, I first had the idea when I was coming back from a holiday and I'd just woken up because I'd been sleeping in the back of the car and we were at a service station and I thought, I wonder where we could be, all the service stations look the same and they all had the same amenities, you've got your burger bar, you've got toilets, you've got everything and I've just got thinking then, what would it be like on a different planet, like, would they all look like ours, how different would they be, um, how would they interest all the clientele and my brain just went mad then, I just kept thinking of all these ideas. <laughs> so the story of the book is about uh, a human called Tom Bowler who gets a job on a service station That's right. serving burgers to That's aliens right. um, and uh, it's very it's a very very funny book um, and how did you come up with all the ideas for all the different aliens did you just let your imagination run yeah wild? they kind of wrote themselves in a way I know people say that but it's a bit of a cliche but it, they kind of their dialogue just comes out and I just saying, what would they look like and just sort of flows really mm -hmm. and this is your first novel that's right because you're actually a I'm a graphic designer yeah by nine to five yeah <laughs> yeah and um what's about the game of spotoon in the book there's a game called spotoon which is about spitting onto yep. a target <laughs> how did you come up with that one it's not a game I've actually ever tried or known <laughs> if it's possible I never played but <laughs> anyone has that'd be great to <laughs> do you envisage it becoming popular like um, I'd love to see Quidditch kids doing has. it in the playground it'd be brilliant yeah <laughs> it's kind of do. a bit of a mickey take and a how much too yeah. To Quidditch in a way, really. Right. It's just a bit of a different twist on it. <laughs> I think you should definitely get a Spotoon team going in the local pub. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, the book has got a sort of um, ecological uh, element to it um, in terms of uh, discovering things about the planet trucks that um, sort of echo things that are going on in, on Earth. Was this something conscious you had in mind? Are you ecologically minded? Um, perhaps I am subconsciously, yeah, but it's not something I set out to do. I think it's just some of the thought processes that Tom has just as I was writing it, I thought, oh, what about this? And it's just things Tom thinks about, and he realises perhaps the whole planet isn't so rich and vibrant as it seems. Perhaps there is a dark side to it as well, mm -hmm. the same as our world. And then he realises he's been living on our planet, it's exactly the same in a lot of respects. Mm -hmm. Now, I understand that you've already um, started writing the sequel and nearly finished it, in fact. And when's that going to come out? It's due out for May. And what's and that called? it's called Do Aliens Read Sci-Fi? <laughs> Do they? <laughs> <laughs> <To> find out. <laughs>